So I have a different video here to share with you. Right now I'm working on this 40 gallon electric hot water heater and I have a bad heater element in there. I need to pull out and replace, but I must drain all the water out of this thing first. So I just wanted to show you guys how I did it and what you should do first is power off the unit. So you wanna to go to your breaker panel here and make sure you have the water heater turned off. So. I flipped this over to the off position. The next thing I did was shut off the water, the main water line coming in to the house, into the tank. And then I hooked up just a normal garden hose there. I'm gonna go out real quick and double check. Nope, still draining. It's been draining for a little bit. Could take a little while to actually drain it out. This one has this nice handy pressure relief valve right here. So I just cranked this thing open and put it like, you know, where I could hear the water start draining. As Soon as I opened this thing up, that water started going out. I also went around the house and opened up the hot water lines, like in the bathroom in the kitchen, to help get some air moving in here. Once it's completely flushed out, I know one thing you can do is you can actually turn on your water line, say for just a few minutes to help wash any residue or whatever may be left over in this thing. Mine's actually fairly clean, so I'm not gonna like, flush it out or run any more water through. So all the repairs here to my tank have been done. I went ahead and refilled the water back into it and got everything working good, everything's fine. Let me just go over the process of how I did that. First thing I did was close this valve down here so I had no more water coming out, the drain valve. And this pressure relief valve, I went ahead and made sure I closed that again. Then I went ahead and turned on the water. Once I started hearing the water go in the tank, I went around to all the faucets and opened the hot side up to like the kitchen sink and the bathroom sink. And here's what it looked like. Okay, so you can see how dirty the water was coming out of there and all that air pressure popping out through there. And what you wanna do is just let that run and you know get the water flowing again, leave the line open and it'll, it'll clear up after a little bit. And then the very last thing you wanna do for this thing is power it on. Go back and turn the breaker on to the water heater and that will take about, I'd say an hour and a half to or 60 to 80 minutes for this thing to heat the water up. Uh, what you don't want to do is turn the breaker on first. You want to wait till last to turn the breaker on so you don't burn up any elements or do any damage. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's the process I did with it. Everything here works great now. I have perfectly clean running water, hot water, and all's good. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up. Please share it, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.